low-income families in New York are feeling the pinch of the so-called sequester. The automatic multi-billion dollar spending cuts, which kicked in last year after Congress, failed to agree a budget. People are being told to find smaller and cheaper apartments or see the rent skyrocket. RT's Marina Portnaya met one of them. This is my brother and his family. Inside Ann Brown's home. So this is home for me. A lifetime of memories are displayed everywhere you look. One of my West friends Virginia, went to West Virginia. This 83-year-old has lived in her one-bedroom New York City apartment for 37 years. This is the first letter I've received from HPD. But a few months ago, city officials told her she has to downsize. Her options, move into a studio apartment or see your $700 rent triple. The only thing I know is I heard the word sequester, whatever that means. It affects us, the, the seniors. The city agency that subsidizes rent for low-income New Yorkers is facing a $36 million reduction due to budget cuts known as sequestration. As a result, thousands of seniors like Anne are being forced to shrink their lives into smaller and cheaper apartments. I am not physically able, not uh, financially able. Uh, what am I going to do with my furniture? Just sit it on the sidewalk. I can't afford to store it. So what am I going to do with it? Uh, my life earnings is in this, this apartment. Civil rights attorney Norman Siegel, who represents many sequestered seniors, calls a downsizing campaign inhumane. I can't dismiss the possibility that the effect of this will impact disproportionately on seniors and poor people because in the bigger picture, the people who are in power and make these decisions uh, know that seniors might not fight back. And it's a problem playing out nationwide, potentially affecting more than 2 million low-income American households in the coming year. That's according to one Washington budget think tank. But it's when social cuts drag in the nation's unprotected pensioners that experts say the effects will prove explosive. What happens to a family watching the government of the country stick it to grandma when she's 80 years old? You're making enemies. You wonder why people join the Tea Party. You wonder why people join Occupy Wall Street. Well, many times the reasons are grandma. In the current era of budget cuts, the country's elderly, most in need of government assistance and stability, are being displaced. Vulnerable citizens forced to spend their golden years suffering the consequences of Washington's debt and overspending. It's like putting somebody in prison that didn't commit a crime. That's the way I see it. What did we do to cause this deficit? And why are you going to balance it on the back to the seniors? Marina Portnaya, RT, New York.